What's up guys, we're back for another tutorial and it's Grimster here. So today I will be telling you how to edit an Agario video or any kind of video with Camtasia Studio 8. So first of all, you would want to um, in import, you want to press this import media button and then you import your, your um, intro if you have an intro. So I do, in fact, have an intro. So I put my intro in here. So first, and then second of all, you want to import media and you want to find your footage so this one there you go so you drag and drop it in here and it might take some time to load but once it loads it's like this and it's normal speed right now and basically you want to right click it and clip speed and change it to whatever you want but I personally like to make it 300 or 275 so yeah it's at the moment it's four minutes long but I will just go through the video and like find all the good bits in it and yeah so like then you have to go through the video and try and find out like see the bad bits and cut them out or if you want to put them in the in there then it's alright so I'm gonna try and find a bad bit so like here I think no we ran I think like here like here like here so basically we're teaming and then and then this guy just trick splits him and then yeah so basically you wanna cut it here okay what I just did basically was so if it's not blue you click on it so it's blue and then you press S or you press it and press this button here so it's split and then you find it and then yep yeah, he died so start here and then you do the same you press it press S and then you delete that clip and then you can just put a transition in and I will do a ripple so now it will look like this wait uh, I don't know if it picked it up on the recording software, but it was like rippling away. And basically, yeah, you cut out all the bad bits and what you want, and you leave the good bits and you s do it. It's a quite a good recording software and editing software Camtasia. So yeah. And now next step is to add in some music. So I have some music right here. I downloaded this new music. It's my favorite song, I think and you can have a listen to it as well yeah. and then I will be teaching you how to do like the bass drop in the music where you did an extremely good play so yeah so basically what you want to do now is find a really good play or like a really good move that you guys did like here that was no that was good that was good and like yeah wait you need to go back a bit. Um, so basically, you want to find it like here. And now you can just like here. You try to reverse the tricks, but what we did. So basically, you want to just go like this. And once you got him, like right here, right there is where you want to split it to indicate where the good play is and then you find the good the bass drop in the song and then yeah so Right there is where the bass drop is, so you want to split, and you can delete the first part of the song, and you can put the bass drop where the split of the video is, and you can make the thing like this. So basically, it matches the bass drop, and then you can put a fade in at the start of it. And now, if you watch it, like here. Yeah, see? 
as soon as I trick splitted him, it was like the bass drop. And now, to make it even look cooler, my favorite transition is either the radial blur or the glow. But for this case, I'm going to put the glow right in the split so it's better. So now you have a look at it and it's, it looks better. Wait, like here. Actually, no, the bass drop isn't actually completely right. Right there is where the bass drop is. So I can have to do this again. Like that. Like this. I'm gonna see if the bass drop's right this time. Yeah, that was right. And now you can add the fade in again. And yeah, so basically, as soon as we did that trick split, um, we died, I think so. Like that. So basically, I'm just gonna cut it out right here. And basically, guys, I joined the new clan with Supreme. Um, so don't tell anyone this, but it's Beam. So he changed his name and it's SO clan now. So yeah. And now, back to the video. We can start here again. Wait, I don't know. I remember this bit where it was good split running, but uh, yeah, it we died. Well, I mean I died, but the other two got really good plays in. Like here, I can. Oh no! Uh, right here, because all that that wasn't too good. So I'm gonna right here. So I'm gonna split it there. Delete this bit. Put it here, put a transition in. I'm just gonna do fade through black, and yeah. And yeah, we can just do some split running gameplay right here, because the music kind of matches it. But it wasn't the best split running here, really. We had taken over the server, and there was really big guys around us. So you can just do what. Oh, that was nice. And look at, I'm gonna slow it down. Oh yeah, another good feature of it is to like slow it down, like when you do a really good play, for example, like right here, you can split it, and you can find where you got the good play, like there, you press it, split again, now like it's really hard to see it, so you uh, zoom in, and then you have to move the part that's on the right, or far away because it you're yeah, making the clip longer so it won't work and then you can decide the clip speed um, I'm gonna do it 150 so it's 1.5 faster than normal and you can have a look at this now wait I'm gonna put another transition in wait a sec um, right here Right here is where you want to put another transition in, like where you got big. I'm going to put radial blur. So I'm going to be like... Yep, and it was... It was like slower right here. So that's really good as well. That's another good feature you can add in, and then we'll zoom out. That's a bit too far zoomed out. And yeah. You can just keep doing this throughout the video. And basically, it's really nice. It's a really good editing software to use. If this video... Oh, anyway. But, um, Camtasia normally costs about £700 or something. I don't even know. But anyway, I, I got it for free. Because I cracked it. But, like, you don't have to switch off the internet every single time, which is really annoying. And basically, I'm just going to let it play like this. And yeah, I'm just going to pause the video real quick right here. So I can find the good bits or something and edit it. Oh yeah, like here, right here. I I killed him. So yeah, right here, I'm going to put it back here, delete it. And put a transition ready to wipe. I don't care what transition it is. So basically, I'm gonna pause it right here. Hey guys, so I'm back 
and basically what I just did was render a like fire particles thingy so I have you have a look at this it's like I made lots of copies of each one because each one was like three seconds long and it's basically like this and so I rendered that on a different editing software and now okay it just come up with that yep homework great homework isn't it <sighs> anyway <laughs> uh, you want to import that no 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 shut anyway I imported the wrong one it's this one this one's two minutes so you can like you can put it throughout the video and it looks quite cool so yeah and then you can like copy and paste it as well copy paste but now what the video will look like I, f I have never tried this before what the video will look like is like this and now you have to go on visual prop if it's not already there you if it's like this then it's alright you just press on visual properties but if it's not there you just press more visual properties and yeah so once you're on visual properties you select the clip and you press you scroll down and press remove a color and then you press select color and then you can just press that so now it'll look like this and you can make it like you can adjust these settings it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter but yeah you can oh wow I just made it but you can like just adjust these settings colorize I'll colorize it with you Anyway, I can colorize it however you wish, but I will colorize it with. I don't know. Anyway, it's like another video, so you can make it smaller or bigger. In this case, I will make it smaller and put it at the bottom. And I will do the same with this one as well. So visual properties, remove a color. There you go. Straight away. Actually no, just copy. Actually now that you have it, just copy and paste it. And it will be exactly the same. Which is good. And yeah. So I'm editing up to here. And like, yeah. And now, like here, you can control S. And I'm about to die here because that guy's gonna pop me that little bit. I don't swear. Anyway, I'm gonna fade out the audio. I am going to. Uh. Yeah, anyway. And then, like, I'm gonna put some sad music on as I'm going to die. So. I, uh, I think it's sad piano music. Uh, what's this? No. I'm gonna do no winners. Because no winners is a good sad music. So. I need to see. Right here is where I'm going to split it and press that and you can like listen to it now. Wait. And then with the, even the gameplay, I will split it like right here and I can go on visual properties again. And like I can change the I can change uh, the color, but it doesn't really work. Kind of amount.
I'm gonna slow it down as well so it looks more effective by making it 175 speed and yeah Anyway, but that's where it ends, so I'm going to delete it here, and I am going to, uh, I'm going to zoom in, because it's better to zoom in, and find where I died, right here, so this one, I'm going to make visual properties to the normal, an amount no, I'm not going to do anything. So it's going to be normal again. And I'm going to move it over here. And... Shuffles. I need to undo that. I need to extend frame. No, 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 no. Wait, I need to see when the music is like... Right there, actually. I'm going to put RIP... Callouts is how you can add text, so you press callouts, add callout. It's up here in this case, but I want to bring it down. So I can bring it down, and you can make it like that. And I'm going to type in RIP Grimster. And then do 2015, do 2016. And then that's, yeah, anyway. So now it'll look like this. So basically, what I want to do is you can highlight it, change the size. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it red. And like you don't want the arrow, so no fill, then no border, and I can remove the effect on it. And then you can change the font as well. I don't have any fonts, so the only font I like is Impact. So I'm gonna do it like that. R.I.P. Grimster. Oh no, I'm moving the thing. Anyway, oh my, can you stop moving this? So I'm gonna move it up here. I'm gonna make it bigger. Oh my, can you actually stop? I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna delete the fire particles here. And, and anyway, I don't need Skype at the moment. So this is your video. I'm I'm gonna zoom out and like it's all in one big block so I'm gonna see how long it is it's 3 minutes 01 so now you will add your intro in actually no here's a good thing about it as well so I'm gonna find where I did that trick split um, actually I'm gonna split everything right here and then end it right here right there now I'm just gonna copy everything control C I think this will work now and these two stupid things there and now you can put the cursor right right there control V so now we'll have a look at this yep so that's good and you can then put your intro Grimms the intro in there yep so then now you can highlight all of this and move it next to the intro and then you can add in the outro if you have an outro in this case I do and you can just put it there and then you're done so this video is 3 minutes 23 seconds and the final step is to produce and share and uh, this is basically to render it and what I do is just do mp4 with smart player up to 720p next you can name it whatever you want um, uh, alien gameplay agario and you can put wherever you want it 
basically I wanted to hear so I'm not gonna touch that uh, and you can take these things like right here, here and press finish and then now it will render and as you can see it is quite slow so it'll actually no it kind of speeds up after a while so basically it will take about um, five to ten minutes maybe maybe fifteen minutes I don't know we'll have a look at the time right now it's 12.57 in my country and I will be back when it has finished rendering hello guys it's just finished um, rendering so basically it's how yep so it's basically we can just finish the rendering and the time is 1.06 so it took about 10 minutes to render now the final step is to go to YouTube and upload it so hope this tutorial help, uh, helped you out and if you have any questions just ask them in the comments and we'll answer every single question and 